the ham dog, just when I thought I couldn't love barbecues anymore. Guys, New Zealand is better at barbecues than us. Mark McMurray has successfully patented and will soon begin selling a cross between a hamburger and a hot dog. It is called the ham dog. Because of course it is. Ham dog, it kind of sounds like a nickname for like the class clown that almost didn't graduate high school. Sometimes you run into him at like the local watering hole, you're like, oh my God, is that ham dog? Ham dog, what's up? He first pitched the idea on Channel 10's Shark Tank program last year after successfully securing a US patent for the combination hamburger hot dog bread bun. Everyone told me it wasn't possible because you'd need a patent lawyer and it would cost millions of dollars. I'm glad you, you dream big for the rest of us. Even the Shark Tank judge, Janine Alice, told me that it was impossible to patent. Well, she'll be eating her words now, Mr. Murray said. Nyuk, nyuk, nyuk. If you're thinking what I'm thinking, it's probably this. Okay, so the ham dog is essentially a burger patty that someone just split in two and then they insert a Frankfurt into it. This is like a rated R burger. Now, this opens up a whole new world of possibilities. Now we're gonna have to reshape all of our produce so it fits on this weird bun, so it matches up perfectly with whatever part of the ham dog you're eating at that particular time. We're gonna have sauerkraut strewn throughout the middle with lettuce on either side and grape tomatoes for the hot dog portion and regular beefsteak tomatoes for like the burger portion. Onions, they're fair game, they can go everywhere. For now, there's only one ham dog for sale, but Mr. Murray says his team is working on expanding the menu. They've had all sorts of requests, such as gluten-free, vegan, and vegetarian ham dogs. That can't happen because it's like double impossible. How would you take something like the ham dog, which its only selling feature is being two different meats on one giant piece of weirdly shaped bread, and you want to take the meat out of that? That doesn't... Once the product is out there and that process is sorted, we'll start experimenting. You'll start? You'll start experimenting. No, no, no. That ship has sailed. It's so, it's already it's already docking someplace else. That ship is so far gone. I have a challenge for you, and the challenge is this. I'd like to see you create your own ham dog. If you do decide to do this, you need to post a photo of it. Tag me on Instagram, hashtag Hallio, hashtag Feel Good News, or at Hallie O'Brien. Any one of those will get to me most likely. <laughs> if you like this video, click that like button. Don't forget to subscribe, and I will see you next Tuesday. You might have noticed a little change of scenery behind me. I'm at Holiday Valley. It's a ski resort in Ellicottville, New York, Western New York, just outside of Buffalo. It's beautiful here right now. I'm here for a conference, but Tuesday uploads must happen. Therefore, the camera is on and I'm talking about beef products. <laughs> For those of you that don't like change, I'll be back in my normal studio set most likely next week, so look forward to that.